Thank you, coach. Reflects confidence. confidence. All right. When you're on the field, all right, if it's hot, hey, I may brain fart. I may need my buddy right here to remind me. You got to talk. You're on it. You're working together. If everybody does their part, that's team defense, that's team offense. All right. You don't want 11 plus one. That's, that's the beauty about football. All right. It's, it's the good and the bad. The beauty is it's the hardest thing to get 11 dudes playing on the same, uh, on the same page. All right. The hard part is if you got one person to slip up, it can ruin the entire thing, all right? Regardless of what your job is on that play, it may be just to run off, all right? And kind of another word that goes to execution is pride. You may not be happy with your job that you have to do, but you got to take pride in it, all right? Because in order for you to have a big job, you got to do a little job first. You got to execute the little things. If you're somebody that is forgetting their gloves all at the field, forget their helmet, forget stuff, how is your coach going to expect you to execute on the field? How you do one thing is kind of how you do everything. All right. If you're getting t uh, terrible grades, you're not you're not somebody that your coach is going to rely on in class. I'm probably not going to put money on you that you're going to execute. All right. If you're lazy in the class, you're probably lazy on the field and you can't execute. Okay. So it's all all encompassing. Um, but I know we have we have two games two games played. We have a couple one or two from each level right that has already shown in those two weeks that exemplifies executing at a high level and consistently. All right, so first, Junior Pee Wees. Junior Pee Wees, where we at, Coach Askren? Yeah. Junior Pee Wees. 2-0. 2-0, Junior Pee Wees. Yeah. 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 First guy we want to recognize, we start fast a lot in part due to this guy. I'm going to bring him up and say his name first so he can come stand with me. Max Compel, execution. Yeah. Max. yeah. Max. Max. Yeah. This is my man, Max. First year tackle football player. Woohoo. Max runs a 50540 as a fourth grader. That's freakishly okay. fast. There's varsity okay. guys that are slower than you, bud. Straight up. 505. No <laughs> All right. Max has eight rushes over 50 yards, eight touchdowns. Last week he went five carries, five touchdowns. Yeah. Okay. That's a thousand. That's a thousand. Even better, I know his dad's more proud of this stat. He leads our team with 14 tackles through two games from the corner position. Okay? So I'll give you your sticker in a minute so we can put it on your helmet. But that's the first execution award for Max Campbell. Nice job, yeah. Good job, Max. Yeah. Colton Allison, number two. Colton Allison. Oh, yeah. 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 Good job, Max. Yeah. 
Oh, we there's our buddy Alexander, Colton. He's got some warrior. Wins. That's what we call him. This kid is a third grader. Okay, he's our hardest hitter by far. He's the one we make wear the, the cap on his helmet so he doesn't hurt everybody. <laughs> Colton plays our wing, and Colton plays height. So uh, last week he had three sacks. Okay, we brought him off the edge a little bit. He had three sacks. He's got five TFLs through two games. Everybody knows where he is on the field. More impressively, he had eight pancake blocks last week. He got flagged because he pancaked the same kid three times on one play and then made up. <laughs> okay? So my man Colton, good job, buddy. Excellent. Yeah. Peewees! Yeah. Peewees! Yeah. yeah. Two and zero, oh, great start, guys. They were watching every down, and we really have to be guys. Mm -hmm. Great start, keep it, keep it up, guys. Big journey, all right. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, recognize this emerging leader. He's actually a national leader, but he's an emerging leader on the team, and he's been executing since day one when we start out in the practice field on June sixth of right. our summer practices. Let's uh, let's bring in Isaiah uh, Hannah's up here real quick. Yeah. yeah. Always doing it with a smile too. So Isaiah, like I said, he's the emerging leader, always coming up to me saying, hey coach, what can I do? What can I do to get better? Uh, one of the things that uh, he, he you know, loves doing is watching film, which is uh, quite extraordinary at this age. But uh, he, after watching film, he, uh, he got a sack this last weekend and an interception. So he's doing that. So talk about execution, that's one thing that he's doing. Not only that, he's also our punter. And he's done some amazing things for us, and also naturally leading some of the other players on the team. So congrats, bud. Nice job, bud. All right, well, let's bring in uh, Max Montez. Bring yeah. Yeah. All right, Max is uh, one of our uh, iconic players. Uh, just coming off uh, watching film of the Grand Bay game, he was in that backfield. Uh, I think, uh, you know, once every three plays. So he's disrupting the offense to get back there and do it with authority. Um, and even came started the game wondering if he was uh, going to execute good things. He was kind of feeling anxious and nervous, just a natural feeling. But uh, this guy executes every single play. He's leading his team. Uh, and he understands the importance of uh, not just the team, but the individu individual um, execution and how that impacts the other potential players on the team. And he's doing a phenomenal job for us. And, uh, Lucky to have him, so. Good job, man. Good job, Woo! Thank you, Junior Midget. Yeah. Bring him in. Yeah. All right, so for us, when we thought about execution, simple as this, do your job. And that, that was kind of all the thing, do your job. As we were telling the kids last week, um, we played a team. We knew they weren't as good as us, but we told the kids, go out and do your job every play, and great things will happen. And we have a lot of kids play a lot of plays. A lot of kids do their job on play one and play two and so on. So for me, when I was really thinking about execution, these two guys immediately popped into my mind. And the funniest thing is, these kids don't say a damn word the entire time in practice or in the game. But when I'm on offense, there's not anyone around that can cover him. He's tall, he goes up against the ball, and then he turned around on Saturday had a couple pancake blocks and he got after it. And so the first guy just doing his job every day and grinding, Hans, where you at? Yeah, Hans, turn around. All right, the next guy, he's like a trained killer on defense. He refuses to play offense. Does not, has not played a playoff, play, a playoff offense yet this year and probably won't. Um, he comes out, we run, we want to run a single high, um, and we probably should just go cover zero because he flies out of the horse so quick. Um, but he's all over the field, he comes out of there like a missile, he never says a word, and he brings, he brings the hammer. Chicago, where are you at? Speech! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, he brings the one in the front. Here we go, midget, midget, midget. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we had, we had Granite Bay, we had Cordova the last two weeks, and uh, the two players we picked that execute, uh, they play both.
both sides of the ball. We got bit by the injury bug last few weeks, right? So we need guys to step in where where, they, where we need them, and they kind of they just do it, no problem. They play hard. They know what's going on, right? And they play hard. It's hot out here. They execute under duress, and they get things done. So the first player is uh, CJ. Yeah. Four touchdowns in two games here. I gotta hide him everywhere, right? Because if he's playing edge, they'll double team him. So he plays wildcat, he plays wing, he plays everything. Anyway, anyway, I can get him the ball, right? In space. And, and if you want to see somebody keep running through contact, watch this kid, right? So that's CJ. He, he, and then on, on, on defense, he plays. He plays free safety. Yeah. He plays free safety on defense. So he plays our hit. Anywhere, coach needs him. He's out there. Talk to you um. The second player is uh, Zach. Yeah. So Zach keeps the outside contained, right? He is disciplined at the end. When we're, when we're running scout O against him in practice, he always gives us a hard time getting, getting outside of him. We gotta get creative. He does that in the game. And if you watch the last game, he was, he was a man among boys. He was physical out there. And not only that, he had to play he had to play tailback for, for a little while, right? So he, he ran a touchdown in the past game. So Zach, a man among boys out there. He's very physical, takes care of business, and yet he's he's gonna work these dogs tired. The coach just leaves him out there and he, he wants to come out. I'm like, one more, give me one more play, right, Zach? So he's just man, he's taking off. Yeah. So boys, I know uh, you guys have a practice. We're gonna head home, but hey, we gotta finish captains up front. We gotta finish with the fight song. Captains gotta finish with the fight song. Rose, counter, tilting. And, and he doesn't know it, but I'll tell you, our rotating chapter for this week is Jackson Lee. Jackson Lee, come on up. Yeah. Oh, we got a warning. Hey, so we have three captains uh, that are for the permanent whole year, Phoenix, Ben. Right. Last week we had uh, we had Trevor we had Trevor Hargis, and then uh, this week we're gonna have Jack Tilly. This guy's been in my doghouse for the last year. This guy's figuring it out. Absolutely, just probably our, our best guy up front going both ways. Just to see the stride that he's made from a little boy, he's grown into a man, and I'm really proud of him and how, how he's he's impacting this team and taking his job and his role in Phoenix series. So he'll be our he'll be our first captain. For, uh, all right, boys, go ahead. Everybody pop up. Let's go fight some. She thinks I'm lying. Ready? <laughs> fight song on three. One, two, three. Fight with me high. We'll go win the game tonight. And we will be true to you. For everything we do, we do for you. Fight with me high. Go maroon and roll with all your might. And we'll give our best to you. To win the ice will be true. Help us out. W I L B C A T S. Go Cats. Go Cats. Go Cats. Go Cats. Yeah. What about it? Let's do this. What's up, buddy? Yeah. What up, Brady? Yeah. Let's do this.